Good morning, this is Chasing Greater Gems, and uh, back by popular demand, uh, I got a comment asking me to open another thing of uh, Celebrations. I thought the Celebrations train would probably run its course, so I moved on, but I wanted to oblige uh, the comment. And I have another box I could open, so if you guys want any, want me to open something in particular, as always, just let me know. I will try to get that done for you. Open up the Pokemon Center um, Elite Trainer box. Uh, I'm not really going to take the time to go through all the pieces. Uh, I have other videos for both of these. I do that. But I think mostly everybody has seen the contents of these. So I am going to go straight to the cards. I have yet to pull the Charizard. I've pulled several Blastoise, several Venusaur. Um, let's see. Code card for the box. I got the Greninja. Contents of the box. Nothing has changed since last time. I'm going to set up some these holders just to hold things that I think are really cool. Got my sleeves ready. So let's first take a look at that Greninja. Um, see how the centering and everything is in that. So it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Quite a bit if you can't see. Um, I have a couple of these already in my sealed collection. So I'm going to open this up. And let's see how she looks. Now the curve can be rectified in a non-damaging manner. Um, if you have a dehumidifier and something a little bit heavy to set on it, it's a good thing. Uh, but this this is quite curved. It leaves me to wonder if there's humidity in the box itself. It actually looks pretty well centered, which is better than some of my other cards that I had received. I had a little bit of whitening here in the corner. You can see, I think it's kind of highlighted by the sleeve there. But we'll see how that looks in the end. I might try to straighten that out and see how we end up looking. That might be worth a grade. I would like to get a Greninja and a Gem Mint. Um, I've yet to do that. Everything so far I haven't really submitted a Greninja because they, they've been kind of in poor quality. So we have some Chilling Pain, Battle Styles, Vivid, Vivid, and Darkness Blaze. So let's go Chilling Rain, Vivid, Battle Styles, Darkness. Okay. And you know I'm going to open one pack, and I think I'm going to readjust the camera um, to fit so you guys can see the piles. If we start to go through these, how do they start to go? So I have a Blitzel, Aaron, Deerling, Delibird, Larvesta, Sfeel, Inteleon, Fighting Energy, Crabominable, and a Scroll, and Code Card. Chilling rain for you guys. Alright. You're right. Okay, so I adjusted the, the camera a little bit to get a better angle. So I think uh, it's kind of fun to see the piles grow, at least in my opinion. So, chilling rain again. It'd be nice to see one of a secret rare come out of here. It'd be a lot to ask though. Diglett, Deerling, Sneasel, Farfetched. Welcoming Lantern, Reverse Hollow. I'm not a huge fan of this ho the Reverse Hollow pattern with the Pokeballs and stuff on the uh, the pat Hollow Full pattern. It kind of makes it hard to read the card. I do like a lot of the Japanese Reverse. I think the Japanese really have much better looking Reverse uh, cards. Especially the, the more um, modern ones. Like I really like some of the kind of the oil pattern or the... Um, 
There's one that's square pattern. Get the VMAX Climax pattern. I think that one is really neat, but... Wilmer, Sandile, Riolu, Ferroseed, Duskull. Goes into the bulk. Clusable, which is actually a rare reverse. So that's kind of neat. Beedrill. And League Staff. And cut a card for you guys. Some Vivid. Of course, always secretly or not so secretly hoping for the Fat Pikachu. Rainbow would be nice. I've yet to pull that. I feel like that's actually kind of a hard card to pull. The price of it came down a little, but not a whole lot. And I think that's indicative of the fact that it's kind of a difficult pull, which is makes it kind of fun. The Dene, Whooper, Yanma, Taylor, Rockruff. Oh, another reverse rare. Dreadnought. Ugh. Zipstrika, Swallow, Nessa, and Cochran. Alright, Battle Styles. I think Battle Styles is the set with the. Uh, oh, I saw that was green, so that's kind of a no go. Um, with the. Uh, what's it? The, the Sleeping um, Alt Art. I think that'd be cool. That's uncommon reverse. Gold bat. And then we're down to our last darkness blaze. Darkness blaze. If you're enjoying this, um, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Take the time to hit the thumbs up button. If you, uh, want to be on the up and up when I release something else, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Uh, I like the feedback. If uh, you have a request, send me a comment uh, requesting I open something, and uh, I can get to that. All right, so we got celebration packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, lucky number 13. All right. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. I don't think there's anything really worthy of a, of a protector in that. And we're gonna get right to this. So I would really enjoy a Charizard. I've yet to pull them, but anything in that classic collection slot is cool with me. Uh oh. Hmm. I guess I'm, it actually looks like hollow foil scratching. Does the camera pick that up? Let's try and move that in the light. So you got scr light scratches here, light scratches here, and light scratches down here. I don't think the camera shows that, but there's definitely scratching going on. Oh, nice! Nice! Okay. So. <laughs> that. There is something really nostalgic about pulling that. Let's take a look at the centering. Looks top to bottom off. Left to right looks good. Top to bottom on the back as well. I really enjoy the, the hollow foil pattern and the texture on those. It's really neat with the you know, like stars, or not stars, the thumbprint. <laughs> the thumbprint like texturing and the kind of confetti looking um, hollow foil pattern. And then that's already given out. I try to cover up the, the little QR code. I've heard that you can make a bot that like, swoops them up, so I'd much rather someone watch it and have a chance of grabbing it, but sometimes I, I don't manage to do that. Uh-oh, again. This time the hall full pattern looks much cleaner. Xerneas. Kyogre. Nice. And all that. So you can see if they can, the camera can pick that up. Yeah, right there. See that? These lines that kind of show up? Those are the lines that I saw on the other one as well. I don't know if that's. It doesn't quite look like a print line. It actually looks more like damage where a roller or something hit it. Just kind of a bummer. That was what was on the other one, except there was both horizontal and vertical lines. I wonder if 
this is not of, like out of the first wave. I think this is like the second wave when I purchased these. So this might have been rushed. And in doing so, they might have damaged some of the cards. Groudon, Reshiram, Zacian, code card. I'm gonna pull him out. Take a look at the hollow full pattern. I've yet to grade a 10 in the fat Pikachu. And that would be nice if I can manage one. I'm not gonna grade every single Celebrations card. I thought about it, but I have other collection goals. But I, I think the fat Pikachu is kind of iconic. Lugia, Cosmon, Mew. Wow. I remembered it that time. Or is it Cosmon? Cosmon and Mew. Uh-oh. Oh, I see something sparkly. Is that Grom? Ah, Don Fan. And our, our, our classic collection slot is a Don Fan. Not the most valuable card, but... So the classic collection, I have thought about... Um, I, I have a good amount of my classic collection going in to get graded. I would like... A, a good chunk of it graded. Even some of the cards that aren't worth so much right now, like the Dawn Fan. If I get one that I think stands a chance of a 10, I think it's kind of worth it to grade in the end. I think those will be cards that people really remember. I think this set, you know, just kind of indicative of the way this was a request from a viewer to open up some more of this. People really enjoy this set, so... Uh, ooh! I do think there will be some demand in the future for it, um, graded-wise. Especially in sealed as well. So if you, you have some of this and you want to keep it sealed, I, I don't think that'd be a bad idea. If you look at the 20th anniversary, um, when it came out, um, it wasn't nearly as popular as um, the 25th anniversary. And even now, <coughs> pardon me, five years later from the 20th anniversary, if you have any of those sealed, they, they balloon in value. And I, I think this will do the same. I don't think it might not get as high as past sets because um, there was a lot of it printed and people did enjoy it, but, and the, the bubble's kind of over after COVID, but I do think that you will see an increase in value in these. I actually have a set, I ordered a, a case of these um, Pokemon Center uh, trainer boxes that I'm just going to leave sealed just to hold on to. Maybe a little speculation on my part. Oh, nice. Another classic collection. Team Magma's Groudon. Look at that eyeball. Very cool. And Professor's Research. And Cook Card. Mm -hmm. That Professor's Research looks like it's well centered. Oh, no. It's a little off top to bottom. Back looks decent. Uh, set that in there. Crowd on. This actually looks pretty well centered. Uh, speck of white right there. Let's see if that's actually on the card or that's just a speck of dust. Cosmoam, Cosmoam, Lugia, <laughs> another Blastoise. Man, I am, I, I really have racked up the Blastoise in this. I could, uh, I could trade in a couple of these for Charizard, I'd do so. And I might have six Blastoise at this point, if not more. I think I have even more Venusaur. No Charizard, no Gold Mew. Um, those two, I'd like to at least get one of those two. Flying Pikachu V. Pikachu! Good card. So my pile is dwindled down. This is the third from the last pack. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, Tap Brulele GX. <coughs> so, Galeo. So, I do already have a copy of the Tap Brulele GX, but it's still really cool to see. One of the harder ones to pull, supposedly. But it's looking pretty bleak for my hope of a Charizard. But I haven't lost all hope. Kyogre, Groudon, Luxray. Oh, we're running the gamut on these guys. Good card. A lot of classic collection cards, which is nice to see. I think there's supposed to be <coughs> one in every four, but um, I think we'll, we'll take a look. There's 13, so maybe we got more lucky. Niveltal, Xerneas, and Mew. Well, unfortunately, no Charizard, um, but that doesn't mean I'm not happy. I think we got quite a bit cards worth um, grading if they end up looking all right. That's kind of the problem with the English sets. And sometimes I don't, um, I, I buy a lot of the Japanese sets just because of card quality. But lately, with the, as you saw if you, you watched my VMAX Climax, the card quality in that wasn't the best. There was actually some print lines. So the Luxray looks pretty clean. Actually, it looks pretty well centered. Got Luxray. Tapu Lele as well looks slightly off left to right. Slightly. Especially here at the bottom. You can see how thin it is here compared to over here. Team Magna. Team Magma's Groudon is actually pretty well centered. Kalefa, the board is actually really thick on this, but it does look pretty well centered as well. And Donphan, pretty well centered. That's not bad. There was one that I, I really noticed that was off center. Blastoise, this one is pretty well centered. This one I think is off a little from top to bottom, a little more. You can see how it's, I think, skinnier over here than over here. So the, the card is actually, the, the image is kind of skewed inside of it just a hair. And you can see it here too, on the back. And it's got a speck of white right there. So, that's kind of a bummer. And that's, that's pretty, it's a pretty good haul. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's that is a pretty good odds there. That's more than uh, one in four <laughs> by far. All right. So it's been chasing greater gems. And until we meet again, have a good one.